Okay, it's a little after 6 a.m. I've got to hit the road. I'm kind of running late. I slept like absolute garbage last night, so I'm kind of just in a daze trying to get everything ready to go. Uh, but I, I got to jump on the car, drive to Nashville to meet the Guthries, uh, to finish the drive to Hobart, Indiana for the gig. So let's go. So I made the uh, made the rendezvous on time here in Nashville with the Guthries, and I've got something pretty exciting to show you guys. Check this out! And we got upgraded, y'all. Nice new van, brand new trailer. We're like a real band now. And uh, crazy. look at this. Whoa. 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 My that's that's my old camera. Whoa, that's that's his new one. That's my new one. Whoa. This is, the old this one. is his old camera. That's, that's his new one. Whoa. Whoa. Check out the uh, inside the van though. Look at this. Traveling in the lap of luxury here. In a lap of luxury. So. Uh I figured I would give you I'll give you this seat since you this have one? the uh, long seat. Since your granddad's long legs. I'll receive it. Yeah, for real though, I'm really excited about the new van and trailer setup. That's been a long time coming. No more 15 passengers. No more having to take the back seats out to fit our gear in the back. It's be great. Right? <laughs> I can't do this. Finish this to go. Okay. So get it. Oh no. Oh. There we go. Man, we need a vault. We need a guitar vault. I literally just said that the other day. We just put it right here. Uh, yesterday it wasn't. That was probably wise to go with Alright, so it's been a pretty good travel day. I gotta admit, driving around in this new van is quite the upgrade. It's so much more comfortable than the old setup. So we're somewhere just outside of Indianapolis, I think. We're gonna try and make it to Chicago tonight because we have to pick up Kelly, bass player from O'Hare in the morning and then drive to the gig. This is just a one-off show for us. And then uh, three or four more next week. Yeah, we have the same shots. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna title it the same thing you titled yours. <laughs> we'll just use the same thumbnail and everything. Yeah. I'm trying to make the most of this uh, golden hour while we're on the road because we've been in the van all day and there hasn't been much uh, very interesting happening as far as footage goes. So, I'm trying to take advantage of good light while we got it. So, it's Noah. Even though he's stealing my, my shots. This is my light. Get out. All right, well, that was a long day in the van, but David is a champion of the long drives. I don't know how he does it, but he knocks these whole things out pretty much by himself. So shout out to the tour manager and Noah and Ian's dad, David Guthrie. We made it. Come on. <laughs> Why are we? Can, can we please stop? Oh, uh, yeah, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> For real though, where are we? Outside. Uh, right outside of Chicago. Okay. We did one of my favorite drives today which I haven't done since like 2015. Windmills! The windmill drive. Where, where is that, Indiana? I mean, they're all over the country. All of it. But no, but the one, you know what I'm talking about, I showed it in the vlog here. Not I that mean, you would yeah. know that, because we haven't seen it yet, because no. I haven't made it, because of 
because we can't time of time. Right. <laughs> How does time work? God, I'm tired. <laughs> the highway that you drive through the middle of Indiana is just windmills as far as you can see. It's really cool. Drop a plate. Bunch of commie crap. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's next morning. Last night was much needed. I was running on like three hours of sleep yesterday. So today is day of show. We are waiting for Kelly, our bass player, to show up from the airport. He flew in this morning from Atlanta. And then we're gonna drive down. Hopefully uh, the forecast will remain clear because it's another outdoor show today, which I hate. But uh, hopefully it's not gonna rain, we'll see. But yesterday on the ride up here, I was thinking about what are some things that I wish I knew before I started in music? And I've talked about this before over on Rick Beato's channel. We had a uh, discussion about it. But there's some things that I've learned over the last 10 years or so of doing this that I wish I could go back and tell my younger self when I was just starting out and, and taking any gig I could get my hands on. All right, the guys are heading down to the van. And, uh... I'm running a little bit late, so also trying out some new mono cases on this run, specifically this new stealth bag that they sent me. I'm thinking about doing a full video on traveling with guitars and gig bags. Just do a quick dummy check, make sure I didn't leave anything. But yeah, if that's something you'd be interested in, comment below. Wow, look what? at you! Look at this, it's a handle. It's it good. actually have a look handle. It has two it's of them. Wheels. It's got wheels and they roll. <laughs> wow. Man. Oh. Kelly. What's one thing that you wish you knew when you started playing music as a living? I think it's said to be videotape red. Oh, sorry. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what was that? I said, what is one thing you wish you knew when you started playing music? Like if you go, could go back and tell yourself one thing. What would you tell yourself? Um, I would say to not worry so much about what people think of your playing and focus more on what how you interact with people and your personality, like the hang. That's a good point, yeah. Like, I would say, again, what we were talking about earlier, be as intimidating as possible. Right. And put people off so much that they call you for gigs out of fear. <laughs> Scare people into hiring you. Exactly, that's <laughs> that's the, the best business card you can have. Fear. Is an intimidating face <laughs> and demeanor. <laughs> Intimidating face to go with your mesmerizing face. Ooh. Oh, wow. wow. Put that on a billboard with my face on it. That's a t-shirt for you. Kelly. Wait. Someone you better not do this before I get in there. I'm trying. Hurry up. I gotta remember this. You don't remember your password? Oh. It's not that one. <laughs> no, no, I just missed it. As soon as I panned away, it turned over. No. <laughs> oh, no, that was me. Was it? That was me. Was it, it? did it, yes. You I click subscribe? Where? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Boom! Yeah! Yes! Yeah. Oh, that was weak. Hold on. I'm like, Mr. Sexy Thousand. Go check out this old Sobtech MiG 50 like combo setup here. That's sick.
Okay, so we finished that load in. Load ins like that in these festival setups are always super hectic and kind of stressful because you've got so many bands trying to get all their gear on stage and set up around the same time and one band sound checking while you're trying to build your gear and there's people bringing cases on. So this is another thing I wish I knew when I started in music was pack light, pack efficiently because in situations like this, you need to have as small a footprint as possible to be able to get on and off stage as quickly and easily as possible. Also, label your cases because as you can see back there, there's a ton of road cases, ton of guitar cases, Pelican cases, everything looks the same. So put your name on your gear. So it's a little windy out here right now, so they just had to land the PA because of gusts. Basically that means the line arrays on either side of the stage, they had to drop down and land on the stage to keep them from blowing around. So um, I guess we're holding off on sound check for right now. Well, we just found out we're not gonna get the sound check. Tonight's gonna be a throw and go for us uh, because apparently the band that was supposed to check before us uh, was late and took their sweet time with the sound check. And so um, now we don't get to check. Word of advice, if you're a band and you're playing a festival setup like this, be on time and don't go over because, uh, yeah, not very considerate. Trying to warm up and uh, just hanging out in the van before our set. Noah, what's one thing you wish you knew before you uh, started in music? Um, Man, that's a really hard question how much work there is involved that isn't music you know a lot of uh, you almost need a marketing degree nowadays <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know and I'm not saying that's in a really a bad way or a good way it's just uh, it's just it yeah it's part of the part of the job now you just have to put yourself out there and for people like me who are very introverted and um, kind of uncomfortable with that kind of thing you know it's just an extra an extra thing you have to overcome and um, yeah I wish I, I would have known but there that's one of those things I don't think anyone could have known because it's just something that came with the rest of our world these days you know yeah. social media evolved and now it's a, a massive part of everyday life so yeah I think that's probably what I wish I knew yeah what do you wish you knew before you started music um probably that it is your own expectations that really matter mm. and not anyone else's which can sound a little contrived but I don't mean it that way I mean it like if you are constantly comparing yourselves to other bands or to anyone in the music industry at all then you're probably gonna get stuck in a hole and that's just gonna hurt your art it only hurts you yeah and it only hurts you yeah. really you, you don't progress at all so probably uh, knowing that Everyone has their own path. Mm. And uh, their own timeline. And their own timeline. Yeah. Um, and there is no right or wrong answer to most of this stuff. <laughs> that's, yeah. prob that's probably it. And how addicted to caffeine I would become. <laughs> <laughs>
right now. Anything with you, make sure you bring it out. And again, we're bringing everybody. If you would like to join us in the city center here. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, you are welcome to wait the weather out in your car, but we would love to see you here. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. Us. And Phil Moore as he rocks and play. The wind was so bad, it blew my whole guitar rack over. And uh, oh my god. So many other passes to get this show back up and running. We keep this party going with you. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Let me. Ridiculous. This wind is no joke. We need to get off the stage pretty quick. Okay, well that was the most interesting way I've ended a set ever. Um, so I'm gonna set you guys down for a bit so we can get the trailer loaded before it uh, before it opens up. Okay, well, uh, at least we got most of the show done, about 99%, um, but we're two for two on getting rained out. Still hate playing outside. Also, I'm not sure how my guitars fared. Ian thinks they did okay. Yeah, I think they're fine. I really do. They might be scratched up a little, but they're, I think they're all right. Well, but the good news is I was playing the Les Paul yeah, at the time, one. so I, it didn't I, fall. If it would have fallen, the I, headstock probably would have broken. But I need to go back and look at the video because I think I tried to like catch it with my foot. I like stuck my foot out as if that was going to do anything to save the guitars. Pretty much exactly what I did. I think I just kicked my Novo as it was hitting the ground. So. <laughs> You know what will help this situation? My foot. My foot. I forgot I, a guy asked for my guitar pick when we were loading off and I threw it at him thinking it would go to him but that wind was so strong. Oh. I threw it and it landed in this guy's drink five people <laughs> down from him and he looked at it and he went, okay. okay so. <laughs> I never got all about Less that. Filling. Oh man. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Two for two and getting rained out and uh, looking forward to CMA Fest next week where we've got two more outdoor shows. Well, go right now. Let's see if we can go four for four in Nashville. And uh, yeah, it's been real fun. I'm going to wrap this vlog up now because I'm starting to ramble and I don't know what else to say. There you go. Oh, thanks. Awesome. Exit 240.